All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Jay here. Today's video, we'll be covering over some new changes coming over to the tester version of Empire War Remake. First, start off with we've got a few new maps for the remote. We've got Asteroids, Coruscant, Eldritch, Endor, Iriadu is still obviously the, the original one, Kuad, Mists and skies this update also introduces something new called the free mode faction as well that way i believe this helps with some of the bugs that were occurring with free mode so i'm on the list of buildable items i could not find the liberator so we're going to be taking a look at a couple other things instead primarily the new skins coming to starfighters and the new providence cruiser which i also believe got an, its own set of facelifts as well so the old Providence, what was the loadout for it? I remember it had majority of like laser cannons and stuff, but this time, this one has like those armor piercing shells that you see in Star Wars Episode 3, pretty much on the broad sides of this uh, vessel. And I actually think there are existing models for it too. Kind of hard to see without zooming in. Yeah, it's like right there. It's like right on those little uh, like pointy bits that are sticking out, but those are like the little broad siding cannons. So these are all 88 millimeter mass driver cannons. Some of them are bigger or some of them are 40 millimeters rather. But uh, yeah, the ship's been outfitted with a bit of a harder hitting loadout in addition to its ion cannons and in addition to its proton torpedo launcher. So let's go ahead and read over everything really quick. We've got a total of, let me pause this, uh, quad heavy turbo lasers, dual ion, heavy ion cannons, ion torpedoes, 800 millimeter uh, armor piercing mass driver cannons and 40 millimeter ion shock shell auto cannons. So this thing is, um, it's a threat. It's a, it's a nice little threat. It's brand new with a whole host of new firepower. And you know, obviously this beautiful, beautiful space map or atmospheric map or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's the new Providence pretty much. Now we've got a bunch of Starfighters called in over here because the Starfighters also got a complete facelift. And here is the new Z95 model in action. Z95, it looks so Z95. much better than the original Z95 model. I was the one who initially suggested that we ditch that older model. I think this one actually has bombs on it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. I saw some missiles on one. Hold on, was it this one? That actually might be new. Hold on, hold on a second there, Buster. Uh, what? How many units does this come with, or what does it come with? Uh, some have, okay, it does come with concussion missile launchers, so maybe I just missed something? It looks like that lead Starfighter has a couple of extra laser cannons or something on the front of it. But yeah. Here's the new Z95 Headhunter model, and uh, it's just beautiful. It looks so much better than its original version, and it just has that, it, it kind of reminds me of the version from um, the new Jedi, like, Order game. Fallen Order, was it? I don't remember. I actually really don't remember the name of that game, unfortunately. Next over here, we've got the new Y-Wing model. So we've removed a lot of that shine and sheen to them, and just given them a more matte texture, and in my personal opinion, this just looks a little bit better. It just fits the aesthetic a little bit more. More Y-Wings. We've got the... E-Wing Squadron right here, which also got a nice little facelift for its color. And I honestly, like I said, I like these just more. I, I personally like them a lot more. B-Wing got its own personal facelift. And what I like about this too is it gives all the remake units their own personality finally, or the Starfighters rather. It gives them their own personality. For the longest we were using uh, the Starfighter models from Rise of the Mandalorians with some additional touches, I think, here and there. But now, these have their own, you know, character to them. This is something when you see this, you're going to realize this is from Remake. And I just think it fits the aesthetic of Remake just a little bit better, personally. We've also removed the weird hole that was in the middle of the X-Wing. So it's an actual properly built looking Starfighter now with that beautiful, beautiful engine audio just destroying my eardrums. Next up, we've got the A-Wing Starfighter with its own, own facelift as well. These units don't really change much in terms of like gameplay and balance. They are just brand new with new paint. They look good. Next up over here, we've got the U-Wing, which also got a facelift as well. And I apologize if I'm stuttering. It is late at night and I've been recording videos for probably like four hours straight, so I'm a little tired. <laughs> but here's the U-Wing with its own nice little facelift as well. And as a matter of fact, we will send it forward and lock its S-Foils into a tech position just to get a look at what it looks like now in all of its glory and yeah this just fits the texture of most of the remake units just a wee bit better in my personal opinion it's less shiny it just fits that like matte slash realistic texture i guess that you could say that these units are kind of going for um in this mod now i do know more units are going to be getting a facelift like that 
Uh, but for the time being, I think the Rebels are the only ones who have gotten the huge facelift. Now, I could be mistaken. Uh, we've also, I think we got new icons for some of the unit abilities, too. We got repair fighter drones. The Nebulons also have that. Or not the Nebulons, but Enter the uh, Quasars. I might have shown these off already. I don't really remember. But there are new icons to, just, like, to tell what abilities do what now from each other. You know, we've got these new icons for frigates. I'm pretty certain Home already. 1 also has that as well. I'll have to double check it later on. And the Providence also has the... It's... It, it's... <laughs> It's in binary, but it disrupts, it has the disrupting enemy targeting computer's uh, ability too. I'm also going to read you the list of new updates, like, or upgrades coming to this update overall. New ground maps, more free mode maps, obviously. Free mode now requires the use of free mode faction rather than one of the normal playable factions. The new SCO'd, or, you know, space overhaul, as we're calling it. Uh, Providence, Liberator, Tirada, and Daratan, or Durantan, which are some of the criminal underworld units and the hut units, so we'll make a separate video on those. We've got new rebel space fighter models, new rebel uh space fighter swerve animations or just new space fighter swerve animations all around new ground and space ai improvements several minor faction units have audio now space skirmish freighter system added there is a new uh, system with skirmish basically for how you get your income freighters will now go to and from your station to your asteroid belt and vice versa so you kind of got to guard them like convoys and that's kind of how you'll go about generating uh income and then the land carrier game mode has been added all of which we will make our own separate uh videos for but today we're going to be focusing on using the providence class cruiser and just checking out some of the new rebel starfighter models as well so those will go to the empire over there and then we will call Prepare in the, the uh Providence. Setting Let's go ahead and just call in the A wings, maybe an X wing, a Y wing, a B wing, and a Underway. couple of Moving carriers. I think this should be more than enough to take on a star destroyer. And uh, what do we got over here? A couple of Arquidens cruisers. And even if it isn't, we're just mostly Order here to received. show off the uh, new course. units. So let's go ahead and start the battle up really quick and uh, get into position to dealing with this guy. Communication established. All righty. Eugenski, go ahead and start attacking. We will get some Starfighters over here to assist. Including some droid gunships, which is just a little bit of a weird combination. But you know what? We make do with what we can. And that voiceover is absurdly loud. Holy cow. You guys won't have to hear it, though. Because I'll obviously be editing it out. Uh, let's have the bombers focus on those units. And then we'll have the Quasars actually engage, too. Guns at the ready. Oh, Armed my ready. God. You see all that firepower? Ooh, these side bombers are going crazy. Fire on the engine. Don't let them Look escape. at that. Oh, that is insane. It's just got so much just raw firepower just shooting out of it now. Yeah, look at that. Those are the ion missiles, or the ion, like, rounds doing their damage, pretty much. We're pretty much going to rip through these fighters like it's nothing. But you can see these guns going crazy now. Let's go ahead and uh, just inspect this really quick. I'm going to turn off my camera so you guys can kind of get a better glimpse of what everything's looking like. But the models look beautiful, man. They look absolutely stunning. With all the new changes, too, they're going to be a big threat. Uh, obviously, to pretty much any warship that has to face them. And they are struggling against this one Star Destroyer, which is a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and do, uh, you know, our, our turbo laser boost. And then we're going to get close. We're going to try to get, like, in broadsiding range with it. Now, you don't normally want to do that with a Star Destroyer, but we're going to do that today with this Star Destroyer, because we can. Let's go ahead and mess with their targeting computers really quick as soon as we get close enough to it. On our way. Okay, yeah, so, wow, look at that. Oh, wow, it's in, like, Orabesh. That's kind of cool. It's a little jarring on screen, but it is pretty cool, actually. We'll go ahead and deal with this uh, Arquidus Cruiser over here. And then we're going to try to get in broadside, like, range. Which we're doing right now, so. Yeah, we'll just watch these guns go crazy. Yeah, look at that. You can hear those sweet Episode 3 sound effects going off, too. And man, does this sound cool. So let's go ahead and try to deal with what's left of this really quick. I guess I can turn my camera back on now. <laughs> but uh, let's try to make some circles around this thing, man. We'll circle this other one around so I can get some of its broadside and cannons kind of focused up. But we can see them just going crazy and shooting right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. All right, let's see if we can do some more damage to it. Mess with those targeting computers just a little bit more. And there we go. Spread your little disease there, buddy. 
Yeah, you're gonna keep going forward. You're gonna keep going around over here, and we'll just circle around it. You know, just into a nice little broadside with it. Well, what we haven't done is really look at the fighters in action yet. Here goes the Y wing dropping off its torpedoes and dealing some damage to this poor, poor Imperial Star Destroyer that I bully every single time I make a video. Uh, let's see the X wing in action. Here goes a turbo laser. Don't want to get hit by that and that flying debris. Whoa. Oh, it just looks so good with this new facelift now. We're circling around. Kind of, sort of. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Shooting off some laser shots. Sir? See this Z95 in action. Where the heck are you going? Target Where are you going, buddy? There we go. Yeah, the Z95's facelift is literally everything, man. It just looks so good compared to its old version. Which is like stubby and fat, and we're just not trying to go with that. We weren't trying to go with that. Granted, I wasn't. I was the one who suggested, hey, can we maybe revamp the Z95 just a tiny bit? It just doesn't... I don't. I personally didn't think it looked that great. So, that's those Weapon new ready. units in action pretty much, or at least those new units with their new models in action. Obviously, we outnumber the Empire once again, but it wouldn't be a Jay the Gamer video where I don't outmatch the enemy 3 to 1, and we just bully them into um, absolute submission. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. And once again, thank you for all the love support on me getting married. Uh, it was a beautiful wedding, and I have good pictures to show you guys probably in like a month or so from the actual photographers. Again, <laughs> thank you for the support, guys. I really do appreciate you all. I love you all, and may the Force be with you all. Peace.